Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast. Your host, Danita Young, and today we're interviewing Renee that's in our one-on-one accountability program. She was stuck in that intermittent fasting cycle with getting no results. And so today we're going to learn about how we can start to reverse that, get back our metabolism, and start seeing results. Let's get started. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one coaching. Ask me the question... Those booty balls that we have a recipe for, otherwise known as protein or energy balls, whatever we want to call them. Your question was, how many would I eat at a time, at a sitting, right? Yes. Well, here's what I'm going to teach you. I'm really excited you asked this question because I get it asked all the time. And this is truly the truth. I have a couple questions to first ask you. I know that's not the best way to answer a question. I like to educate. I like to make you an expert, okay? If you were to sit down and have maybe chips, has there been a time in your life that you've ever overeaten chips? Yes, absolutely. Me too. (laughs) Okay. Now, the next one, protein, like healthy amounts of protein with a salad. When's the last time you had like three or four or five of those and overate it? Never. Okay. Why? Never. Never. Why? 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 Because I'm full. After you have a huge salad with stuff and vegetables and a large amount of protein, you're full. Yes. So what happens is it works like this. When you have whole foods, those healthy fats, the vegetables, the protein, the things we need to eat, you don't have to calorie count. You don't have to measure, balance your percentages of your macros You don't have to sit here and do this like, how many do I need to eat? That's so much head game. Here's the reason why. Your brain actually has a chemical that it releases once it's full. When it has the foods, it knows it can recognize. The nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, and it goes, thanks, I've had enough. So when we've had that salad that's full of nutrients, we naturally are just going to get full. But now let's say if we go over to the chips, that processed food, our minds, our brains don't know the limitation. It's, it's actually doesn't connect because it doesn't have the nutrient value. So we can end up overeating. Exactly. So we'll end up overeating all those things because our body's like, Whoa, I'm not registering. And it'll say, I'm actually not at my vitamins, minerals, nutrients yet. So that's why our body keeps eating it because it's like, when am I going to get nourished? Okay. So the answer to your question, those booty balls that are full of oatmeal and nuts and seeds and protein powder and cacao and all these great healthy things. Technically for me, I have about maybe two or three, sometimes four. And my body's like, thanks, I've had enough. Right, right. And how cool is it to live more in a freedom like that, where you can have a synergy and harmony with your body rather than have to have this head game. Right, right. To take away that constant gnawing at your head about what you're eating. Yeah. So what comes up for you now with this new knowledge? A lot. And I have notes here. What comes up is that I think I make the nutrition end harder than it needs to be for myself. Honestly, honestly. But is it your fault? No. Renee, I did the same thing. No, it's not my fault. Mm -hmm. Really, really sad that we've been and so inundated with things that we were told would work. And then you, you believe it and you're like, oh, get that idea and image in your head. Oh, they're going to say it's only going to take this long. And oh, let's try this. And oh, I lost that 40 pounds, that 45 pounds fasted. I ate, ate nothing. I had absolutely no energy and I felt like garbage, garbage. And people were like, okay, my sister used to say, you look sickly skinny. I mean, really? And I went from a 14 waist uh, pair of pants to a six. And I felt lousy. And then when I started to think, you know what? I need to have something like I want. I was dying for a yogurt. Don't eat no dairy. I was dying for a yogurt. Get to this point where you're so shut off from everything that it starts to really drive you, me, me, not anybody else, me. It started to really drive me crazy. And I was starving. I was doing those crazy fasts. 16 to 18 hours. I don't know. It just didn't. And I don't want to feel like that. 
I actually will tell you, I have felt good. Think about measurements as far as my muscle mass and my, and I have to try to put it after I do that. I have to try to put it out of my mind and move forward with the week. Because if I don't do that, then if I'm going to sabotage myself from my mind, Mm -hmm. you know, and I don't want to do that. So I try every day to focus now on this into my body. That's good. And I'm enjoy the workout. So that's not like it's three hours of exercise. And if I go outside and take the dog for a walk, it's like an added bonus, almost kind of thing, a work in progress every day. It's like, and learning something. And then I, I keep going back and reading different parts from the program and looking at other people's Facebook site, what they're eating, what they're making, what they're, how their exercises, how long they've been at it, what their accomplishments are and how they get through the day when they don't have such a good day, you know, and it really, it helps me. It's helped tremendously. Mm -hmm. So I know that I can do this. Like I have to get my own self out of my own way (laughs) is what I have to do. My mission is to really focus in on those pictures, take my pictures, get more protein in for sure. For sure. Cause I know that my head out of my own way, get it out of my way and stop thinking I'm eating too much. If I eat that chicken, more chicken in that salad. Yeah, I just did a podcast with a girl and had an eating disorder. And she explained how before food meant fat to her, Mm -hmm. rather than the food as fuel. And I think that that really has been the biggest thing that has affected women's psychology of the way that we eat and really fuel ourselves is because we thought, well, if we just don't eat, we've all heard eat less, move more go into a calorie deficit. Well, we're like, oh, okay, we'll starve ourselves to get to our goals faster. Yeah. Not even thinking that our metabolism is directly correlated to our muscle mass. And we are just completely shredding down our metabolism to just be zero. Right. I'm just going to tell you this real quick because it really bothered me. I saw the day before yesterday when I was going to go on the social media on Facebook and it was about how bad fiber is for you. And it talks about how it weighs you down. Are you serious? Now you have all these people thinking they're fat because fiber is now no good for us. It's so nasty that you do this to people. And there were like 1.5 thousand people, 1.5 K people were on there. Oh, I'll try this. It was a drink of some sort. Oh, I'll try this. Oh, I'll try this. And I thought, oh my God, this is exactly what Danita is talking about. Like they're reeling us in. And you know, what's really sad is all those controversial things is people are doing all these controversial things because if they get that many comments on it, they get that many views and mm-hmm. that's what people can actually blow up. And so they're like, well, if I can just make something controversial, yep. I'll go after it. And that's what's yeah. so sad about that whole marketing side of it. Sad. It is sad. Enjoying the fact that like, I look at the girls, you know, what they make for dinner and what they're having and actually that thought process and that like, oh, there's other people here. These girls are really nice. And you're watching and you're, you're going through the same thing. And, you know, you see people's progress pictures and I'm like, oh my gosh, some of them absolutely blow you away. You're, and I'm almost like, is that really real? <laughs> I no, and I can do this and I'm going to do this and it's going to be my lifestyle. It's not going to be a diet. I'm done with that nonsense. The power in your voice. I'm not just like, I think I can. I love that you're like, I know I can. And, and you know what? And that has helped me. Part of the exercise routine and following like the challenge and following like my sculpting days, that has been the thing because when you go from not being able to do that push up, right? Called where you crawl it out like do oh, the push up worms. Yep, inchworms. You go from not being able to do one of those to being able to get through that whole thing. I can do this. And it gives you that, you know what? You're starting to lose some of that worthless self feeling. You know what? I'm pretty proud of myself. I can do that. I did do the modification in the beginning, but now I can do an inchworm. I did that whole routine yesterday. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. I went up to a different booty band and I just ordered the other bands, the long bands. So those are supposed to be delivered tomorrow, I think. And I ordered the, the vitamins and the, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So I'm good. And you're getting hungry, which means getting- your metabolism is starting to speed up. Thank God for that. <laughs> 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 I'm actually finding out that I really like things that I didn't think I would like. Right. Yeah. Like foods. I'm doing it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. I so, love thank it. You. Well, thank you. You're so welcome. Oh man. When I figured it out, I had to share, I had to share. And it's been so phenomenal Renee to sit back and just be your witness of this new self discovery, finding what works And now just seeing a few little tiny things to tweak even more and just taking it one step at a time so that we make it sustainable and comfortable and enjoyable and empowering. That's how it needs to be. You're right. That is how it needs to be. It is. And I I feel good about it. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Yay. But thank you so much. You're so welcome. Have a good rest of your day. I'll talk to you. Bye, Renee. Bye. Bye. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbell. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. To have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty Bands and Barbells has really changed my life for the better. I have to be real with you. The past six months really took a toll on me and my body. I felt incredibly stressed, isolated. After being a good 12 to 13 pounds heavier, said that's it, I'm gonna make healthy choices. And I'm happy to tell you today that I am actually down 15 pounds. I feel amazing. I feel like I lost fat and put on muscle. I have a lot more energy. So it's never too late to start. You can take control again. Thanks, Booty Band Nation. Positive that you will get more sculpted, more toned, and you're gonna love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches. From where you're at, no matter where you are, or how long you've been in the position. So just click the button below to book the call with our team.